Lord, please fix this poverty issue. This issue of poverty. The woman in the Bible had an issue of blood. Uh, but there are many, you don't have an issue of blood, but you have an issue of poverty. And that issue, whatever your issue is with money, it can be fixed. Listen, the Lord said, the power of poverty is breakable. It is breakable. It, uh, it, can, be, it can be conquered. It looks insurmountable, but I'm telling you, that mountain of poverty is not insurmountable. Uh, that mountain can be leveled. And by all means necessary, by the word of God, by worship unto God, by deliverance, by sacrifice, by fasting, by all means possible, poverty has to go. Lift up your right hand and say, I refuse to tolerate poverty anymore. Spirit of poverty, you are not permitted to remain in my life. Raise your right hand. Say, I save notice on the spirit of poverty. Just like a landlord gives a tenant notice. Poverty, I give you notice. As I stretch my hand towards this altar, I declare and I decree prophetically, I am marching out of poverty. As you worship, say worship. You must consider that your worship must be unto spiritual freedom. Worshipping is not to entertain your spirit. It's, it has the power to walk you out of spiritual afflictions. I'll prove it by scripture. The Bible says when David played the harp, say worship, evil spirits left soul. So, Worship has the power to deliver. There are many lecturers in the body of Christ that call themselves pastors. It's not helping anyone. I tell fellow pastors, if you're a pastor without power, you're wasting people's time. Because people are looking for power. This is why when I choose the Nganga, because the, the church has been left as a powerless body. And power is not about falling in church, it's about rising in life. I pray that by the power of the Holy Spirit that emanates from this platform, your life must go upwards and forwards. I said your life must go upwards and forwards. I declare and I decree by this anointing, by this grace, every evil power that you are facing, it has to let you go. Why do we need power? We need power. Listen to this. Because the problems that we are facing, they are empowered spiritually. You can never truly counsel someone out of poverty because poverty is a force. And since it is a force, it must be removed by force. The powers in your father's house, bring it here, that said you will not rise. Ah, those powers must lose you. Even as I'm speaking this way, something is happening in the realm of the spirit. Something is happening in your life spiritually. There's a recalibration of things in the realm of the spirit for you. I said something is happening. There is a shift happening somewhere. Uh, the, as I'm speaking, there are powers moving out. Evil powers. And the Holy Ghost is moving in. Uh, I'm annoyed by the spirit of poverty. It is responsible for many divorces. Many divorces are necessary. It's just a money issue. Many churches are being shut down because of poverty. But I declare and I decree there is no enterprise that will open her that will ever be shut down by the spirit of poverty. I declare and I decree the power of poverty. It affected your grandfather. It affected your father. Now it's beginning to affect you. But I declare and I decree you are a Phineas. I said you are a Phineas. Psalm 106 verse 30. And you will intervene. You are the one who will intervene. Uh, it will be said of you that poverty stopped with this person. Poverty stopped. Poverty stopped with cage. It will be said. You are the one who stopped it. Uh, it was started by someone. Uh, and you are the someone who will finish it. Uh, I said you are that someone. Uh, oh, I'm here to raise an Aphineas. Hallelujah. People who stand in the family and say I am the one. I am the one. <laughs> I am number one. Ayatabahaya. And I'm here to stop poverty. I'm here to stop it in this season. 
How can we rise solve in the biggest problem in humanity? A spirit of poverty working against uh, all ethnicities. Uh, poverty is the beggars in Australia. They are white beggars, black beggars, Asian beggars. It means the, the spirit of poverty. It transcends any generation and just goes across the spectrum. But I'm here to say in Harare, Zimbabwe, 99 Parkland Avenue, opposite Harare Gardens near NASA. We are here to stop that spirit. We are here to stop that spirit dead in its tracks. It doesn't matter the effect of poverty in your life. Life, we are going to conquer that power by a superior power called the power of the Holy Ghost. Shout poverty must go. Oh, I need you to agree with me. Shout poverty must go. Say poverty must go. I declare and I decree. It doesn't matter how established it is in your family. It doesn't matter how strong that spirit is in your family. I prophesy under the anointing that the power of poverty, it has no choice but to let you go. It doesn't matter how many altars are working against you. We smash those altars today by the power of the Holy Ghost. It doesn't matter that those altars have been reinforced. We wage a war against those altars. And we say, altar, altar. Hear the word of the Lord. You must come down. You must collapse. Any poverty sponsored by altars in your family, I declare and I decree by the power that is in the blood of Jesus, those altars Altars must come down. Uh, Gideon he said, uh, uh, Judges 6, uh, verse number 13 uh, to 15. He said, well, If God is really here, where are the miracles? Uh, anyone who's asking that question today, I declare and I decree, verse number 25, uh, we are going and destroying the altars in your father's house uh, that make your Christianity look like it's non effective. Uh, I said, Any altar that makes Kunamata look like it does not work, uh, we are attacking that altar today by a superior altar. Uh, called the altar of Jesus in the name of Jesus and by the power of the Holy Ghost the Lord is arising to fix this issue called poverty it's an issue, it's an issue and it's going to be fixed say fix it Lord say Lord arise fix the poverty issue annihilate the poverty issue destroy the poverty issue in the name of Jesus say Lord as I raise my hand I summon the whole of heaven to arise and fix this issue called poverty in my life it has been there for many generations as I raise my right hand unto heaven I say heaven arise fix this issue you don't need to go on an evil altar to fix it. It is fixable here. He said, uh, uh, in Ezekiel 16, I think it is. He said, you are like your mother, 4445. You are like your mother. You are like your mother. You are like your father. I declare and I decree. Every like mother, like daughter syndrome, like father, like son, that signifies poverty. I said anything from your mother's side. That connected you through the womb. If it was connected, it can be disconnected. I said we disconnect you from your mother's womb spiritually. I'm not advocating for a fight between you and your mother. But I'm just advocating for a separation between the spirits from your mother's house and the spirit of God in you. I command that separation. Anyone who is affected or afflicted by demonic powers from the womb. And the devil has said, you will be poor from the womb to the tomb. I declare and I decree that power must be destroyed. Even today in the name of Jesus. Be free today in the name of Jesus. And by the power of the Holy Ghost. Can I prophesy you out of poverty? 
Anyone under the sound of my voice, I'm, I'm seeing Matebele land on the map. Whoever is from Matebele land and you have been afflicted by poverty, I release the power of the Holy Ghost and I declare and I decree every Matebele land demon, every Matebele land altar, you demonic powers from Matebele land, I declare and I decree every evil altar in Matebele land, you are loosing them by fire. I said you are loosing them by fire in the name of Jesus. We send fire to Matebele land. Halia tabaka tabako tabaka tibahayanda. Halia ne galanda mahaya. People under the sound of my voice. There's a connection between you and South Africa. Whether from your mother's side or your father's side. I send the fire of the Holy Ghost. Halia tabako la mahaya. Every Zulu demon. Halia ne bekete beke tibahayaya. Ah, that says you not prosper. Ya ne bekata. We set it on fire. We set it on fire. It's called geographical bondage. Micah 2.10. Arise! This is not your level. It is a defiled level. Anyone under the sound of my voice. Oh, you are experiencing a level that is not yours. I free you from that level. That demonic level. I free you from it. I said anything you have accepted as God's best. And yet it's not your level. I said I free you under this anointing. I said I free you in the name of Jesus. And by the power of the Holy Ghost. Anyone who is tied by the spirit of poverty. Tied by demonic forces, tied by satanic powers. I untie you, untie their feet. I said, untie, 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 and and the adegeli and Anyone tied to the spirit of poverty, anyone tied to evil altars, altars of non-achievement, altars of being broke. There are altars of being broke. I free you from that altar. You always go up and go down. It is responsible that altar. Today we break you from that altar. I said we break you from that altar in the name of Jesus and by the power of the Holy Ghost. Loose that cold. Bring him here. The master has need of it. The kingdom is behind her. We are supposed to be building. That's why you need to finish your building. Any power that says you will not finish. Stretch your hands to the altar. Say, Holy Ghost, I'm desperate for deliverance. I need liberty. I need freedom. I can't go on like this. This is not my level. This is not my portion. Holy Ghost! You're not shouting it. Say, Holy Ghost! Free me today! Stretch your hands to the altar. Say, wherever poverty is in my life, be it in my hands, be it in my feet, be it on my head, wherever it is, Holy Ghost, set it on fire. Listen, you don't escape poverty by education because they are educated Uber drivers. The power of poverty has the ability to veto your education. We are going to pray that every evil power that makes your education ineffective, if we remove that power, your certificate will make sense. Say, Holy Ghost, I declare and I decree, every evil power that makes my wisdom despised, as I pray now, in the Holy Ghost, clap in my hands, that power, lose my education. Open your mouth and begin to pray. Listen. I refuse for your life to look like you did not go to school. When you went to school. Something is wrong with that picture. And this is the affliction. It's in Ecclesiastes 9 verse 16. Then I said wisdom is better than strength. Nevertheless, the, 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 the poor man's wisdom. In other words, he has the spirit of poverty. But he also has wisdom. His wisdom is despised because of poverty. 
It is a spirit that turns your education into nonsense. That makes you, your qualifications, you are qualified, but the qualifications can be despised. Stretch the hands to the altar. Say, any evil altar that was erected when I graduated, I declare and I decree that altar collapsed by fire. When you write a proposal to an, to, to, to an organization, how many agree that that proposal is full of wisdom? Huh? Huh? So, we are not denying that it is a powerful presentation. But it is being despised. Why is it being despised? It is because there is poverty that is attached to your proposal. We are going to pray. Stretch your hands. Say, any poverty attached to my wisdom, the power of poverty, be removed from my wisdom. Let my wisdom be accepted. Let it be accepted. <laughs> Listen. Anzi, when Ahithophel's wisdom was rejected, he hung himself. There are people who are at the point of suicide because your wisdom has been rejected. Why has it been rejected? It is because of the spirit of poverty. It's not that what you are saying does not make sense. It's that there is a spirit attached. Stretch your hands. There are people who went to school and enemies in your family, they said we will see. Kalande begeria dabaga dibaga dabaya. Anyone under the threat of who will see. I said anyone under the threat of who will see. I declare and I decree under this anointing that truly, truly, very, verily, those evil powers they will see. They are the ones who will see. I said any words of threat from the realm of the spirit. Where you were told we will see what will become of your business. Just like they threatened Joseph. And said we will see what will become of your dream. I prophesy under the anointing. Anyone under the threat of who will see. Who will see how long you will be married. Who will see how long you will keep that money. Who will see how long after your wedding you stay together. I said they said you will see. I prophesy under the anointing of the Holy Ghost. Can anything good come out of prayer shift? <laughs> Come and see. Come and see. Uh, can anything good come out of your midnight prayers? Come and see. Can anything good come out of your giving? Come and see. They are the ones who will see. I said they are the ones who will see. Are you here? Are you still here? I prophesy over your life. Anyone who went on a demonic altar and they said you will see. They are the ones who will see. Aliyah tapande bakota bagadabaya. Waka pecha pama ifo altar. They will see. They are the ones who will see. Eria da bech bech. Do not bech an para Jesu. They said, stay in that church. Let's see what will happen. They will see. They will see God lifting you. They will see God delivering you. They will see God setting you free. I said, anyone under the threat of who will see, surely they will see. Stretch your hands. I declare and I decree under the anointing any chain of bondage that is upon you child of God that chain must break in the name of Jesus and we break it by fire we cannot keep gathering and there are no results I'm addicted to results if I have an addiction it's for results anyone who's spiritually tuned into this service whether you're here online I command results in your life there must be results in the name of Jesus your God is the word we are going to fix some poverty issues by the word if you are interested are you still here online write it fix it Lord Lord, fix my money issues. Fix them, Lord. The devil has messed up my money until my money is acting funny. Lord, fix it. Fix it. It can be fixed.
fixed. It's not Gazirika. It's not Gazirika. Your amen has no faith. I said it's not Gazirika. The rent is not Gazirika. The mortgage. That is not Gazirika. It can be fixed. It can be fixed until you are the lender and not the borrower. It can be fixed. Uh, if you can turn water into wine, he can turn you from a borrower to a lender. I'm speaking to somebody. Uh, you are under a mountain of debt. But I declare and I decree you can be a lender and no more a borrower. It's in your Bible. He says you shall lend to many nations. And thou shalt not borrow. I break the borrowing power out of you. He can turn you from a tenant to a landlord. You, see, you just see water turning into wine. He can turn, that means he can turn anything to anything. He will pick you from the dunghill. He will take you from the guttermost and put you on the uppermost. It's a provision in the scrolls. I don't know about you, but I believe that Bible from cover to cover. I believe it right. From the preface right down to, 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 to those maps at the back. I believe even the maps. Are you hearing me? I believe everything. If he says he can turn water into wine, he can turn a hallowed into a prophetess. Sire, but don't write me off because of my past. Are you hearing me? God is turning some things around. He is a special and an anointing you do not receive is useless to you. And I pray and I would to God that you would receive this grace. He is a grace, a special grace. I prophesy by Friday. Holy Ghost, locate them now. There are people who have a million in their hands. I say by Friday, there are people, Holy Ghost, who will handle a million US dollars. And I command every devil to lose that money. Send him a car. Marizaka Sungwa. Sungurua. There are people saying Zangraka Sunga is an anointing. Sunungura. Lose that money and let it go. If the enemy can be told, lose that woman and let it go. He can be told, lose that money and let it go. Lose that contract and let it go. Lose that business and let it go. Lose that favor and let it go. Whatever you need for the next level, I declare and I decree it is being loosed. We lose that signature. That has been elusive. Uh, thank you, Holy Ghost. Uh, I hear him saying destiny signatures. Uh, I command that destiny shifting signature. Aladabad, uh, a uh, destiny shifting signature be loosed. Uh, I said be loosed. Uh, we summon Nabakata, uh, uh, that king to put his signature and to put his seal. I said we command that king to put his signature, his seal of approval. I hear the Lord saying there are people who have been approved. It might have taken time, but it is approved. It might have been frustrating, but it is approved. I hear the Holy Ghost saying you are being approved for next level. Whatever was not allowed in your family <laughs> pertaining to prosperity uh, we allow it I said I allow it from the realm of the spirit if it was disallowed from the spirit realm it can be allowed from the same spirit realm I said we allow it I said we allow it we allow you to buy a house we allow you to drive a real car I said we allow you certain realms of money that it for me it's we allow it we allow it from the realm of the spirit I said we allow it I give you spiritual permission there are some who are not allowed to get married to rich men why should you be married to Bozo 
Bandi anda when powers is available, anda baka diranda baka. We allow you. We allow you. We allow you. Anda di anda anda baka di bahaya. I said we allow you. Ah, my ando. Anda manda anda anda. There are people who are not allowed into the palace. Uh, you are not allowed into court as well. There are real deals. There are deals and then there are real deals. Uh, I allow you into real deals. Uh, hidden riches. I allow you. I allow you. I give you permission from the realm of the spirit. Uh, I don't know who I'm talking to. But somebody you are not allowed. Adiba de galada bahaya. There are what are called palace deals. Adiba de bakata mahaya. These are the deals that are signed and sealed at the reserve bank ministry of finance abadia dabaka those level of deals uh, zimbabwe national army uh, those kind of deals are you listening to me why when you sit at the wisdom tables of the economy i said we allow you any transaction in your industry where you are not allowed we allow you poverty disallowed you but now the anointing to prosper will allow you 5 million US dollar we allow such transactions I said it was not allowed in your family until now but from today you are allowed they signed under your feet. I said they signed under your feet and they said where the source of your feet shall trade you will not possess. But I countersign I under, and I reverse that demonic signature. Paladiande galada bahayando bela tamahaya. Shout fix it, Lord. Say fix it, Jehovah. He is fixing it, Gladmore. I said he's fixing it, Kagamba. I said he's fixing it, Yehu. He is fixing it. He is fixing it. Shout fix it, Lord. Say Lord, fix this issue of poverty in my life. If you fix it, I'll buy a car. If you fix it, I'll buy a house. If you fix it, I can build a hospital. If you fix it, I can build your church, Lord. Fix it, Lord! Not only for my sake, those who are following me, fix it, Lord. Fix it, Abaya. My daughter is grievously vexed with the devil. Fix it, Lord. He can fix it. What a simple topic. Fix it, Jehovah. Raise your hands if you want him to fix it. And call on God, the master fixer. He's better than Olivia Pope. He can fix it for good. Fix it for good. Shalom, Dama. He can fix it. He can fix it. He can fix it. If you knew what God was doing, you would pray. You would really pray if you knew that the fixer is in the house. He is the chief mechanic of your destiny. He's taking out old parts and putting new ones. He kapata la di edebeke di bahaya, palia de galada bakota mahaya, zesha di ada bahalia de bakata, danda da bagi ala bakata mahaya nda. I know there's a case of no money upon your life, but God can fix it. Shout, fix it, Lord. When you say fix it, Lord, it's because you have failed to fix it. If you could have fixed it, you would have fixed it by yourself. I prophesy what you have failed to fix. We consult a higher power. <laughs> you have failed to close that transaction. You want to close the transaction. Whatever transaction you have failed to close, 
Uh, I'm here to tell you that the heavens are not closed. So heaven will close the deal for you. Raise your right hand. Say deal sealed. Say it again. Say deal sealed. Say deal sealed. Three. Number four, deal sealed. Number five, deal sealed. Number six, deal sealed. Finally, number seven, deal sealed. Whatever is pending from the spirit realm, deal sealed. I don't care how angry the demons are. The deals must be sealed. For the sake of the gospel, for the sake of the gospel, for the sake of the gospel, whoever has money tied up and they want to do certain things for the sake of the gospel, Whoever is saying, if I get this money, I will make a major contribution to the gospel. Even if you said it in your heart, the Bible says of David, because this thing was in your heart. I decree, God to do it. If God vets your heart and sees that you are genuine, when the kingdom has an issue the anointing can send you to the marketplace Peter and you can get money where there's normally no money eh, I prophesy under the anointing where usually you don't find money coins in the mouth of a fish I declare and I decree this week money in unusual places and money from unusual faces. It will not be the usual faces giving you money. And it will not be from the usual places. It will not Thank you, Lord. I will say that. Stretch your hands. I summon new sources of income. It could be same business, but different customers. Many of you will get orders you cannot fulfill. If I don't speak it, you won't see it. So I must speak it. Even if it seems impossible. For with my God, all things are I prophesy impossible transactions. I decree when you testify, people must think you are lying. You don't hear me. Uh, it's in your Bible. It's in your Bible. The Shunammite woman said, Prophet, don't lie to me. Put it there. He said, By this time next year, you'll have a child. She thought it would never happen. She says, don't lie to me, men of God. I'm not lying to you. But I prophesy. Transactions that will look like you are lying. Like you are exaggerating. I command exaggerated breakthroughs upon your life. If I be a man of God, this week, exaggerated breakthroughs must be your portion. And your boss must overpay you. He has underpaid you enough. He will now overpay you. Your boss will argue with other bosses about overpaying you. And he will defend the payment. I'm speaking as I see it. And you'll see it as I speak it. I declare and I decree. You will be overpaid. You were in the book of underpayments. Now I relocate you to the book of overpayments. 
in companies, rules will be broken for your sake. They will adjust rules for your sake. Don't you understand that it is grace that can suspend the rules. Some rules concerning payments must be suspended for your sake. They will say, we don't normally do this. Uh, but you are not normal. So they will do what they do not normally do for you. They will say, normally this takes six to eight weeks. Uh, but for you to take six to eight days. I remove some time out of the equation of your breakthrough. I said, I remove some time. It shall come to pass in that day that the sower shall overtake the reaper. Every seed sower in this ministry, you will reap quickly, quickly. Your breakthroughs will come quick and in a hurry. Uh, what was delaying I, I, I remove the spirit of delay from your breakthrough and I command and I demand Esther's matter was attended to quickly, quickly, quickly. Uh, I think it's in Esther 5, verse 8, somewhere there. Your matter must be attended to quickly. It must be done quickly, quickly, quickly. Thank you, Esther 5, 5. Uh, the king said, bring him on quickly. Uh, the president will call someone and tell them, uh, bring the governor quickly. Governor, and bring him and quickly and he may do as Esther has said I prophesy something must be done quickly for you it must be done quickly for you we call him and uh, that corrupt government official uh, will be called by the president. His Excellency must call. Uh, I said that that corrupt officer uh, must be called quickly, 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 quickly. Uh, Esther 6 verse 10 He says excellent Somebody shout excellent The king said to Haman Quick Take the ropes of my horse And just do as I, I have said Say quick Shout quick uh, I released a quick anointing uh, Is it not the Holy Ghost who quickens I, I, I quicken, quicken, quicken things. Padida di bagala de gaya nda haya. Mande gali nda mahaya. Handa bakota manda mahaya. Aya tipa kola bahaya. In the equation of restoration, you need two factors. You need favor and speed. Aya tapa kota mahaya. So let me put it this way. I, I, I prophesy quick favor on you. Delayed favor is useless. I said, quick favor. I prophesy people will leave what they are doing and they will attend to your matter. They will attend to your matter, no matter your tribe. He's fixing it. He's fixing it. He's fixing it. My paper is He's fixing it. He's fixing it. He's fixing it. He's fixing it. <laughs> My paper is Zimra. Mapepa imba ya konga sainwe. 
ti debegeli ya dabaga nati mapepa elendi yako ngasa inwe kalabaga da quick favor kapati ande begeli ya dabaga da bahaya ande begeli ya ndamako tamanda bahaya ando bahaya hazu ya ande kalada bahaya katele deka it will happen quick it will happen quick it will happen quick we veto delays out we edit delays out shout no more delays shout no more delays ndama kala andi ando bakadi andala mahayande ndama kola bakadi andama kadi ya mahaya andama kol there we go that's the one i was looking for the decree was written in the name of that king and sealed with the king's signet ring modekai sent the dispatches by swift messengers swift messengers kuna messenger anga ichi delay ane zvinhu zvako i said the one who was sent by the king was delaying and the king called for joseph and he said arise quickly from the dungeon that is god fixing joseph's destiny your prophecy that has been delayed I command a quick 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 anointing. And Pharaoh sent and called Joseph and they brought him out quickly out of the dungeon. I know you're in the dungeon today. The king's decree is urgent. I put an urgent sticker on your breakthrough. An urgent sticker. An urgent sticker on your breakthrough in the name of Jesus clap your hands if the holy ghost blessed you